I'm Brad Levitt, president of AFT Construction. Thank you for tuning in to our YouTube channel. We are here at our Net Zero Home of the Year uh, by Professional Builder. And this is gonna be episode eight about shading. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming episodes on this incredible build. So here on episode eight, we're gonna speak about shading. Now shading is a term that's used, especially as we're thinking about backfilling plumbing. So right now, as we're prepping for the slab, uh, again, the slab will be insulated as we mentioned in episode seven. So we're gonna have a full insulation, termite treatment, and the rigid foam. We have to come in and we have to dig all of our plumbing. So we dig our plumbing first, that's the first step. We'll come in later and wherever, you know, after the plumbing is backfilled, we'll put in underground electrical. Um, and if there's any other components we have to put in, especially interior, Footings, you know, those may be formed later, but again, the plumbing's the deepest. We have to make sure we have, you know, any drops. It's always flowing downhill, right? That's important with plumbing, making sure everything is flowing downhill. But one thing you'll notice with the soils, you can see around me, there's a lot of rocks, right? There's a lot of rocks, clumps of, uh, of dirt. And so it's not really conducive to just come in and backfill in these trenches uh, with the soil type. So you do what's called shading. And this is where we bring in the sand. So we bring in sand, we bring it up here. And so really we want to create a soft bed over the plumbing. This really helps prevent um, any breakage, you know, any cracks or breaks in the underground plumbing, in the pipes. And, and this is required, especially for certain soil types in Arizona. So we'll bring in uh, the sand, we'll come in and we'll disperse that sand. So you have this nice soft bed over all the plumbing. And now you can backfill the existing dirt here, uh, which will fill in the channels. We'll have that compacted make sure the moisture content's where it needs to be so they don't have any issues uh, later with you know, compaction and moisture content as we prepare to bring in the AB and get that nice clean finish before we uh, insulate the slab. So again, shading's important. Make sure you understand the soil type, that before you just backfill, you don't wanna have any issues where you have to come in later and do repairs and dig that up because you have a leak under your slab, which not only is a pain to repair if you have a leak in the slab, it's a lot of work to cut the concrete, especially through the rigid foam insulation, the stego mat. I mean, there's just so many elements. Um, but also, if you have water that's undetected for a long time, it can lead to, lead to a lot of failure in the home, right? You have settling, you can have cracking, just a lot of issues that come from water. We hate water, so make sure you shade to prevent any of that from happening. 